Welcome to another episode of This Is Anything Goes. Today, we are going to break down the remote of the Proton Inspira, aka Lancer 08 Rebatch. While the batch may be different, it's actually the same uh, remote, or some people call it the key hop. Alright? So, what we are going to do is we are going to break it down, we are going to tear it apart, we are going to change the battery. And all we are going to need is just a small electronic screwdriver's kit. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing that you need to do is actually to remove the keychains or whatever we have that is over here. So we just slot it out. Okay, put that aside. All right. Okay. So after you have uh, removed the keychain, what what you need to do is remove the screw on the back here. There's only one screw, and if it's very rusted, you might want to be careful because you don't want to strip the screw head itself. All right. This is a very small screw, so you might want to be very careful. All right. So once you get that out. Put it aside. Just put your fingernail or maybe a coin or a flat head screwdriver here to pry it open. Okay, you can pry from anywhere. Okay, and then common mistake that shops do is what I just did. When they pry it open, this chip flies away and they don't actually uh, find for it. Alright, this is the immobilizer chip. Okay, it's very small and without it, you won't be able to start your car. So I'm just going to pop this back here where it belongs, take this out, <clears throat> okay just put your fingernail here and pry it open just like that and then we will be changing the battery, okay just use a flat head, pop it out. So the battery that we use is a CR1616, alright? So don't buy the CR2016, that's too big. And CR1632 is too fat. So, yeah. Okay. Pop the new battery in. So the batteries, you can actually purchase it online. Uh, five of it actually cost about 10 ringgit, so that's about... $2.50 US, so it's about $0.50 cent US each, pretty cheap, okay, so yep, let's break this down, okay, so basically that's all you have in your key hop, okay, the cover, the cover, the key, um, this is a bit broken, but this is the buttons, the button covers, this is the main remote with three switches, the battery, the back cover and immobilizer and the screw. That's all you have. So whenever you assemble it back, make sure you have all, everything, especially the immobilizer chip. There's been a lot of people who's been asking why don't, uh, why can't they start the car after they change the uh, battery. So most of the time it's because when they change the battery, the shop or the, they themselves actually lost this immobilizer chip and it's not cheap to actually buy this back. Okay, let's assemble it back. Okay. 
Okay, make sure everything's aligned. Let's put the immobilizer chip back. Okay, clip it back. If it doesn't clip, then something might be misaligned, so you don't want to force it. So open it back and put it back. Okay, and we're done. All right. So as usual, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you dislike it, wait. Oh, sorry. If you like the but if you like this video, hit the like button. If not, if you dislike it, just put it thumbs down. But leave us a comment on how we can improve further. All right. And as usual, if you think anybody can benefit from this video, hit the share button. And if you have not already done so, hit the subscribe button. All right, because every subscription helps. And we have a lot more new videos coming soon. So hit the bell button so you get notified as well. All right. Till next time. See ya.